prep zone. Oh my goodness! Price splash down. Welcome to the Prep Zone and welcome to the 21st season of Prep Zone Football. We're kicking it off. It's an annual tradition. Fountain Blue taking on Lakeshore. For more analysis, let's bring in Coach Tiger Edwards, the founder of the Prep Zone all those years ago. Me and cameraman Dave Williams founded it. But more importantly, tonight's game, big rivalry. It's Fountain Blue, Lakeshore. They're actually five and five in the, in the series. Now, let's look at last year before we talk about this year. Diametrically opposite in what happened. Opening game, Fount Blue won, Lake Shore lost. Fount Blue one and nine, ended up in the season. Let's go over here, Coach Indest takes his team 11 and three. They go to the second round of the playoffs where they live, lose to the eventual state champion. So Coach Kavanaugh, the new coach over here at Fount Blue, has been thrown into this rivalry. Yeah, let's talk about this season now, the uh, first season under Coach Kavanaugh. Uh, what do we know about them coming into this season? Uh, young squad, Coach likes to run the I formation, which is a kind of a ground and pound, very similar, as uh, not in the techniques or anything, but very similar in what they're trying to do here at Lakeshore when they run the wing tee. They're both are going to be relying on their defenses to hold them and just get enough yardage and enough points to win the game. Tiger, thank you. We'll have more analysis from the press box. I spoke with both coaches moments ago. Let's hear what they had to say, and we'll get to the action. Coach, week one in this rivalry matchup with Fountain Blue, you got a taste of it last year in your first year. Now it's year two. Uh, what do you, what's your team uh, thinking going into this one? Well, you know, hopefully a lot, we're a lot better prepared. Um, we were behind the gun last year. It was no excuse. But, uh, you know, we come out, came out and kind of laid an egg. Still had an opportunity to win the football game. But probably it couldn't have gone any worse. So, uh, you know, tonight we got to take care of the ball and not give up the big play, and hopefully better things will happen. Coach, year one of uh, you being here at Fountain Blue. Um, what do you know about this Lakeshore Fountain Blue rivalry? Um, I just know it's game one. I really don't know. If, I, I mean, the kids tell me it's a rivalry. I know that there's a lot of excitement uh, from the fan bases and the, uh, and the students and everybody in the school. But it's just week one. You're here at Lakeshore tonight. What's it going to take to beat them at home? We, we just have to we have to play good, solid, fundamental football when they're on uh, offense with our defense. We've got to create negative plays, maybe get a turnover here and there. Um, just find something to stop that three yards, three yards, three yards, you know, just rolling down the field on us, grinding up the clock. Um, that's our worst fear is that we get, just don't get enough possessions, you know, don't get enough possessions on offense. On offense, I feel fine. We're going to we're gonna function and do well, um, but we gotta, we got to make sure that we can get them off the field on defense. Sheldon to kick this one away with team and Miller back deep to return for the Bulldogs. Sheldon keeps it short and Fountain Blue falls on top of it. They'll start their first offensive drive at the 39 yard line. And Good field position to start it off with. Tiger, as we mentioned in pregame, five and five in this rivalry. This is the 11th time playing. Uh, tied up, winner of this one takes the lead in the rivalry all time. Oh, here we go. No huddle. We're gonna get signals from the sideline. Lined up in a in a row there. Have you seen this before? Never. <laughs> it is the first time for everything. And Coach Kavanaugh's got a 33 and 22 record, so he's 11 above. And so the initial starting quarterback Burleson is on the sideline to start off. Snap is back. It's a direct snap to the running back. He'll take it himself going to the top of your screen, and he'll be brought down on the far uh, side by Caden Broussard. Okay, Eccles, all right, running back, tailback if it's eye formation. That was a little wildcat look right out of the bag. Um, as you mentioned, Burleson on the sideline to start. So maybe an opening... Um, drive is this something that because Burleson's still not in is this something that 
they plan to make a whole game of, or is that's just a Gagnon. Snap to Eccles once again. He'll take it and looks to cut back. Has room on the back side, being chased. Let's see. Gets around, racing forward, crossing the 40, and he's out of bounds at the 35-yard line. First down and some for the uh, Bulldogs, and a flag is down late. Uh, uh, Landon Schlink was trying to run him down, but he got outside of Schlink, who I, I'm assuming was the uh, contain guy, and he got up the field seeing everything so bottled up in the beginning of that play and got a first down, and we're going to um, get some art yardage added to that. So a dead uns ball. Yeah, unsportsmanlike. So now that'll move the ball up even further. And Fountain Blue, it'll be first down at the 20 yard line, the Lakeshore 20. So still doing this line up here hey, as they get the play. Whatever works for you, that's what I say. So Eccles will take the direct snap once again. And Lakeshore takes a timeout to talk it over. 10.53 to go here in the first. No score. All right, back from the timeout, Coach Indeth called that timeout to talk it over with his team. Trying to get everybody defensively on the same page. But Fountain Blue staying with the same set. Eccles taking the direct snap again. He'll follow his lead blockers coming near side. A flag is down as Eccles is brought down. Now two flags down. That's going to go against the Fountain Blue Bulldogs. See a hold. That, that play there is basically a power play. You got blocked down and kick out by the two lead backs and try to lead um, Eccles through. But following that uh, timeout, you got to think after seeing the first few uh, variations of the lineup and this, this offense that they certainly weren't expecting, Coach Indes talked it over with them in the timeout. Absolutely. They went over what they think they see, what they're seeing and what they want to do. And we're going to see something different now. So that was just the kind of the opening of, of the opening drive. How far can we get with this Wildcat? And now, now a little more spread. structured. Yeah, spread. Which is actually away from their typical base formation that they've been running. Um, Burleson now in and a hard count. Did they get him? No. Nope. So uh, Eccles in the slot. Snap is back, give goes to Anglin, rushing here near side and he'll be brought down by Roberson. Yeah, Roberson got him by the ankles and flipped him up and um, pick up a couple. So Anglin, when they go to their uh, normal base eye formation, Anglin's typically the fullback. fullback. Yeah. And they have um, Eccles in the, in the slot. Now they have him top of the. Look at this. Yes. yes. Stacked out wide. Double stack. So just nothing that we saw in preseason so far. Well. They're, they're getting in this formation and they're trying to figure out how they're going to line up. So if they come back to it, it's going to have to be, and they ran out of, they had to take time out. There it is. It's, it's first game jitters, first thing aim, get everything kind of, get your feet underneath what you're doing and we got to take a time out. 9.35 to go here in the first, no score. All right, coming back from the timeout, Fountain Blue still in a spread formation. Burleson calls for it. It's a screen out to Miller. Miller bringing it forward, and he'll be pushed out of bounds by Roberson after crossing the 20-yard line. Just a quick toss out there to uh, Miller, and um, he, they got it within working distance, third and nine now after it being uh, first and 15. They'd like it to be a lot closer, but... They're going to have to throw it nine yards or pick up nine to get the first down. Trips to the top of the screen. Burleson calling for it. Fakes the give. Tosses it out to Eccles. Complete 
and he's still fighting for the extra yards, and that may be a first. That is a first he down got the first for the Bulldogs. Down. That was he, that was just he 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 hit the zone, sat down in the zone. They hit him, and I'm thinking to myself, you got to get nine. You got to go to nine, but. He, he was able to bulldoze himself into a first down. That's where that work that you put in over the summer with the strength and conditioning coaches comes in giving that extra effort after you've been hit. First and goal. Two backs here with Burleson. And a flag comes out. Offsides called on the Titans. Now that's an easy five yards. And let's see, Caden Broussard comes in. As uh, Senekovich comes out. Yeah, you First see that? And goal oh, no, from the five. Out now. They got him now. Burleson under center. Calling for it, give goes to Eccles, cuts back, and he'll be down at the one. Yeah, Jaden Eccles, uh, from what I was told by the strength and conditioning uh, staff that worked with Fountain Blue over the summer, one of the hardest workers in uh, summer strength and conditioning to get in shape for this season. And that's what you want. You want someone that's going to, if they're going to tote the football, they're going to have the durability to do it and the strength. So going back, see, this is what we expected to see. This is closer to it, second and one. Anglin, the fullback, Eccles, the running back. Burleson gives. Oh, my oh. goodness. He's leveled by Broussard. Ooh, big hit right there by Broussard. And stood him up. No one no one put a hat on uh, Broussard, and, and he made Eccles pay. That'll make it third and goal from the three. That's a big, that's a big loss right there, two yards. One yard was makeable. They need to run to the right side. Burleson straight ahead. And he's he in for the score. In. The old quarterback sneak sometimes can work and he went to the right side. The numbers were to the right. So he picked the right side and the correct side. And the correct side. Yep. He he almost he looked stopped at first and then he spun yeah. off. He did. And found the opening he for did. the score. Good effort, second effort out of Ian Burleson. Puts the Bulldogs on the scoreboard first. Micah Nagy on for the extra point. Snap, kick is up, and it is. Good. 7.32 to go here in the first. Fountain blew up 7-0. So DKR to kick off for the Bulldogs, and this one's kept short. It'll be returned and brought down about. Oh, wait, I think the ball came out. Fountain blue signaling that they had it. On the return, there was Berg, and I think. Let's see. The, yeah, we're waiting on the official call. Fountain Blue now tempering their excitement. Say it's down. Can say it was down. Yeah. Waiting on the white hat here. And they're going to say he was down. All right. So Lakeshore ball. When that arm doesn't go in the other direction, the chances are it's not going in the other direction. And there on your screen, you see Coach Endes talking to his offense last year. Coach Indes joined the 200 club coaching. Yes, indeed. Not too shabby. He's got a state championship with that. Um, pretty fine record. I think it's 205 and 93. Stout. 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 Bo Bernard, the Let junior quarterback for Lakeshore. Bernard, do they have another Bernard? Not related to that. <laughs> that perfect, perfect setup there. <laughs> <laughs> so from the huddle, the wing T setup. Is 
Bernard under center. Takes it, toss. And plenty of room to run here near side. Uh, Cato Pichon on the carry. Chris Martin on the tackle. And um, just a good old toss play out of the uh, slot, slot right. And uh, in a fresh set of downs. There you go. Bernard give goes to Cusacks and he oh the ball looks loose is the ball loose so it looked like the ball came loose Fountain Blue fell on it but also a flag is out there's holding there's a holding call Waiting on the official call. So holding on Lakeshore, holding. that'll back him up. That's a big penalty. First so and first 20. And, yeah, 20 from the 45 yard line. Bernard bringing in the play here. You see him on the left side of your screen, running it in from the sideline. He goes over to get the play from Coach Invest. He's in great shape. Wing right this time. Give to Cusacks, following his lead block there. And he'll cross the 50 before being brought down by uh, Gagnon. That time they ran the buck sweep to the right. Basically, block down, kick out, lead through the hole, and um, pick up of about seven. Second down and 13. And from the 48 yard line. There's Jaden Wells in number 11 for the Titans. They weren't sure they'd have him so early in the season. He was battling an injury, but great to see him out on the field. Playing the nose guard. And a gain of maybe one there. Audrey Grow on the carry. Grow on the carry, a little, no, no game. A little full so that back, third down. A little bit, little fullback play right there, and got nothing. And Tiger, it is Migration September first. We have a heat and humidity break. Of course, at the six-minute mark. It's 5:56 to go well, here in the first. Well. Fountain Blue leading 7-0. All right, third down, coming out of the heat and humidity break. Jaden Wells uh, pushing out. Split in. Fakes the give, looking to pass as Bernard slings it out, looking for Wells, and it falls incomplete. No, no, no flags down. No flag. Let me let me go back to the previous play when I said, when you said number 11, I said Jared Williams. Well, Jaden Wells and Jared Williams. Very similar are, names. Similar names, both with a J and a W, and they're both wearing 11. I was looking directly at Williams when you mentioned Wells. My bad. Fourth down, though. Punting situation. And it looks like Bernard back to punt. Yeah, it is Bernard back to punt. No Bernard back to punt. Chris, Chris Martin back to return. Chris Martin back deep for Fountain Blue. For Fountain Blue. Snap is back. Bernard gets the punt away. And yeah, that's a Peter call. Oh, wait, wait now. Oh my goodness. He pins him inside the one. Wow. I thought maybe it had a gone or it was felt like everybody else was going out of bounds, but I don't know. I wow, look at that. So 99 yards ahead of the Bulldog offense. Their last outing resulted in a touchdown. 5.36 to go here in the first quarter. And of course, one of the dangers here is a safety, which is something you better be plowing straight ahead and getting some room. Nothing too fancy. They didn't line up in a, a straight line that time. Yeah, going with their base offense. 
Burleson trying to get him to jump. Yeah. But across that line for Fountain Blue, all seniors, straight across. Calling forward is Burleson. Give, uh, go straight ahead with uh, Angler. We'll talk about that veteran uh, Fountain Blue offensive line with uh, the left tackle in Fletcher Van Halen, 6'4", 320, and one of the greatest football names. By the way, Micah Nebaker on that last tackle there for the Titans. Hard count from the Bulldogs. Burleson calls for it, looking to pass, slings it out, right side, caught uh, Miller, and Miller with room to run, Miller my goodness, crosses gone. the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Sebastian Miller. Quick post, Burleson put it on the money, and no one touched Miller. Miller's yep. money. Money. He had, hey, three touchdowns in the Jamboree last week, and there's just picking up where he left off last week. Wow. Just that quick. Funny thing, someone in the press box said, was saying something, watch about a pass or something, I thought I heard. I was, and I was looking out there, and Miller, great route, sprung free. And Nagy on for the point after, snap is back, kick is up, and it's good. So, 4.35 to go here in the first, and Fountain Blue leads 14-0. The quick kickoff, falling on top of it is uh, Nathan Miller, and a flag comes out late. So three kickoffs, all three short. Nobody wants to kick the ball deep to anybody. It, that's just it. Afraid nobody, of nobody wants to uh, give up the give big, up the big return, right? So we're waiting on the call here from the officials. It's a packed house here at Lakeshore for this rivalry matchup. A great crowd here at Lakeshore High School. And it's loaded on the other side. Yeah, on the, yeah, I mean, both sides brought a crowd to this one. A block. Blocking it back. All right. Did the kickoff team block the return team in the back? I guess Ill, it's illegal contact because okay, they moved. They moved. Uh, now it's Lakeshore starting on right. the Fountain Blue side of the field. Right. So Bernard under center. Motion calls for it. Give. Right and he's tackled tackle. for about a after a one yard gain. That was uh, that is grow. A little fullback off tackle play, right there. Got one. Second down, nine. That was wing left, slot right. Motion by Lakeshore and the handoff to the fullback. Off a of right tackle, same formation. Wing left, slot right. Motion, Bernard, oh, he loses it. And Bernard able to pick it up, but he is slung to the ground by Gagnon. Check that, by... Uh, Sylvan Owens, and a flag comes out. Let's see what this call is. Does he slung him down? He, I guess. And, and he might have. He, he might, might have had him by the back of the helmet. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, face, face mask. mask. Five yards. Hey, this is the thing that you got to worry about in the first game. You're going to make mistakes via the penalty, and how is that going to affect you? It's going to be second and five instead of third and ten against a running team. 
3.43 on the clock. Bernard calling for it, give, and he is bottled up and dropped, uh, no gain. That was a Cusacks on the carry. Right. Now it's third and five. It would have been fourth and ten. So still a chance, though. Still a chance. Actually, you're still in two-down territory. Here's if Coach. If, coach, if you're a coach in desk, you're down 14. You got. You may want to go for it on, on fourth if, if it gets to that point. The analytics. The analytics. Call, call the analytic guy. Oh, and it looks like Coach Endes takes a timeout. Three minutes to go here in the first. Fountain blew up, 14-0. All right, third and five here for the Lakeshore offense coming out of the timeout. And Ooh, somebody jumped. Well, let's see. It's going to be an official discussion here. I don't see a flag down. No. Maybe a. Wow. Coach Endes. I don't know what you're talking what's going about. On too. I'm with you, Coach. I don't. Right. Yeah. I don't either. All I know is this: if there's no penalty, oh, they oh, got see. him out for an equipment thing. But but you know what? It saved it saved Lakeshore a penalty because the left number 73, the left uh, guard or tackle, he or the right the left tackle had had jumped prior to the snap. Bernard calls for it on third down, and Give goes straight ahead in that. Let's see, close. is that close? Going to be close. That was Grow on the carry. It is a first down. First down for the Titans, and uh, Roberts is back in. Two forty-two to go here in the first quarter. Bernard looking to the side. In the backfield, Cusacks and Grow. The wing is Wall. Bernard give and a gain of a gain of three or four. Excuse me on the case. Just straight ahead football right there. What we talked about in the beginning, you know, it's grounded out, grounded out, grounded out. Try to find where, where the openings are in the defense. Try to get something going. They've had a, more success off of right tackle or the left defensive side than any place <coughs> so far, other than the toss. Bernard calls for it. Give goes to Cusacks. And Cusacks gets there for a first down. Good run there. Numbers said go, go to the weak side, and they did. And uh, Boata on the tackle. Brant Boata, the junior middle linebacker. So 120 to go here in the first. As uh, Bernard brings in the play from the sideline. Quickly running to the line. Bernard calls for it to give, goes to Cusacks, and a flag comes out. Cusacks on the carry on the left side, or right side. Flag on the play. And this one is going to come back, I believe. <laughs> Blocking the back on the Titans. Blocking the back, called on the Titans. So that will make it first, first and 20 for the Titans. Wow. So uh, both teams kind of swapping penalties. And, uh, is that for week one? It is. 
it is the typically the, the, the most penalty plagued week. Yeah, it is the disaster of week one. Usually, all the penalties. Bernard calls for it. Give oh, it's a pass. Slings it out and incomplete. Intended for Wall. Well, a little half back pass there. Um, on the pass. Totally the faked everybody out. Uh, but he didn't complete the pass. The man was open. Appear, appeared to be open. Yeah. Good so play call. Uh, not so good execution. Yeah, Lakeshore rarely passing tonight. 0 oh, and 2. Right. So 47 seconds to go here. A rare uh, incomplete pass clock stoppage for the Titans. Second down, 20. Bernard calls for it, fakes the give, looking to pass again. Slings this one out, and that one falls incomplete intended for Cusacks. He, he, he was faking to no one, like there was no one there. I guess, I don't know if that was a busted play or um, the running back left a little too soon or what, but there's no real, it appeared to be play action, but no one to play action off of. So third, third and down. 20. Third and 20 now. Screen pass. Bernard calling for it, looking to pass here. Launches this one for Wells, and it is incomplete. Ooh, in and out of his hands, it looked like. Was right on the money. Wells did not come down with it. So fourth and 20 now for the Titans, and let's see if uh, Coach Indes keeps that offense out there. Looks like no changes. Let's do it again yep. from let's do it again from the other side. Yeah, but hey, look, Jaden Wells. <laughs> Jaden Wells now at the bottom of your screen there, the bottom right corner. And uh, they're gonna go from the gun. They're gonna pooch punt. Ah, yeah. Quick kick. And this Get goes out of, the out of bounds at about the, let's see, the eleven yard line. Samaj Witteen. Almost, almost got hit with that ball, and that might have created something there. So it'll be fountain blue ball at the 11-yard line, 26 seconds to go. Do they, do they take a shot or kneel it out and go to? Uh, They're going to kneel it out and go to the half. Well, to the, sec to the second quarter. Well, second quarter, what am I going to say in half, yeah. Not, they're not going to kneel it. No, no they're going to run, run it. it. Yeah. I, I got there with you. Yeah. I was thinking it was half. Yeah. You got there actually ahead hey, of me. Look, guys, it's week, it's week one for us, too. Right. Burleson calling for it. Give goes to Eccles. Eccles running hard, man. He's aggressive. Just trying to get something going inside. Bottled up there. Some good defense by uh, by the Titans. And that should, I, I don't know if they'll get a playoff before we go to the second quarter. Yeah, they're fine to let it run out. So at the end of the first quarter, Fountain Blue leads 14-0. All right, top of the second, Burleson tossing it out to Eccles, and he is hit in the backfield. Uh, yeah, he's fighting hard back there, but eventually the gang tackle got to him. Uh, Broussard and company, Broussard Roberson and company. There was a lot of them there. It was a little quick pitch that time. They motioned away from where they wanted to try to get the ball to uh, Eccles, and um, it didn't work. Third and third and twelve. So Burleson in the gun, calling for it. It's a screen out, and that was um, DiChiara hauling that one in on the screen. Char on the reception, right down by Robeson. 
So fourth down, punt units out. Dachara will punt this one away. Dachara in the punt. Two sacks back in from the Snap is back. And this one punted away. And that goes out of bounds. So that'll be a great field position for Lakeshore to start this drive. Absolutely. As they trail 14-0. So Coach Indest talking up the offense saying, hey, we got to put some points on the board here this drive. We're down. We got to get some points. Here's a great this field position. We don't have to go 98, although for Fountain Blue, wasn't, that wasn't hard. They went 99. Oh, was it 90? 98 on the pass. Right. One yard on the previous on the play before. Right. Bernard Hard count. Fountain Blue holds discipline. Bernard calls for it. Give goes to Cusacks. And he will be gang tackled down by Gagnon and Sylvan Owens. Buck Sweet that time, left side. And that one was just, Fountain Blue filled the hole and, and made the tackle. No gain, second down, 10. Roberts out of the huddle first. And it's second and nine. Bernard calls for it. Give goes to grow straight ahead. And uh, that'll be a gain of four on the carry. Nice straight ahead run there by Grow. Going to bring up third and six. Nine twenty-one on the clock here in the half. As Bernard brings in the play from the sideline. Bernard give goes to Cusacks, and that'll bring up fourth down. Couple more for the Titans. Uh, Got to think he's going to go for it here. No doubt about it. He's called the play. Coach Indest has called the play. Fourth down. And that was in quick. He, I think he had his mind made up. Try to get as close to it as possible. They're going wide. Hard count trying to yeah. get the, the free first down. Bernard with the toss. There it is. And room to run for Cusacks. Still rushing forward. Excuse me, that's Grow. And he is down inside the five, and a flag is down. The big. Play there, and this might actually give him some extra yards. Let's see what the call is. Oh, they might be even face, closer to the end zone. Trying to face mask, or yeah. grab the cross it. We're going to say what? He's not on the Face, face mask, mask, there it is. Okay. Five yards. So even closer to the end zone for the Titans. Let us go back to that last call. I believe I said they were going wide in the talk because they had had success earlier with it. That was a close one. I don't know if you saw the defensive guy had penetrated there on, on the left side, but that toss just got by him, and they got up the sidelines. Good play by the Titans. Bernard calls for it. Give goes to Grow straight ahead. And he is uh, uh oh they're upended. signal. Yeah, Fountain Blue uh, thinks it was a fumble and they got it. We're waiting. We're waiting. Yeah, the white hat called him down. 
I didn't see it. I, oh, yeah, maybe so. Oh, there yeah. it is, the fountain blue ball. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow, big stop there. Huge. Huge. I, I mean, Lakeshore started with great field position, worked their way all the way, way down, down, nearly getting in. And in the fumble, so it's still trailing 14-0, 7.45 to go here in the half. Wow. Huge turn of events right there. There had been a, a, a fumble earlier in the first quarter that that they blew down and and <coughs> and they were able to keep the ball. That's right. Mountain Blue thought they had it. That's right. But um, on the uh, on the kickoff. Was it the kickoff? Okay. So now Fountain Blue yeah, at their own three-yard line, but that wasn't really a problem for them uh, before. No, no, 97. They've gone 99, so let's see. Burleson from under center calling for it. It's a screen out. That's a throwback double pass. And he launches it downfield. And he's he got, got it by Miller. 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 The, the receiver who caught the, touch, the 98 Sebastian, yard touchdown exactly. earlier. Exactly. Sebastian Miller, get him the football. That's the name of that game. Wow. So, yeah, you had Burleson with the screen out to Dechara, and then Dechara has Miller open downfield. If you heard me, he had gotten further back, and so I knew it was a double pass at that point. Great haul in there. I tell you what, it was not too bad of a pass, was it? No, right on the numbers and Miller. Rolling to his right as Burleson slung out and it's hauled in by Eccles. What wow. an excellent catch what, there. What a great throw though, on the run. He threw a dime right in the middle of everything. Yeah, great, great pitch and catch. Man, I'll tell you what, you have a little if you can have a little run game with Eccles and a little pass game with Perl Burleson and and uh, and Miller. And Miller. Yeah. I think, if I'm not mistaken, from the Jamboree, Tachara is the backup quarterback for Fountain Blue as well. Well, that would be good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, D. Come on, D. Get back there. Burleson calling for it, now rolling to his left. Pressure there, slings it out. Oh, he had oh, Miller wide open. Miller and In knows. and out of his hands. Miller knows he had it. Man, I, I'm telling you what I'm impressed with. Ian Burleson's arm. He and went left and threw back right a bullet. And how about the poise there? He had two guys in his face. He did. And he was able to square up and sling it. But going to his left and throwing back to your right, that's tough to do. But he threw it on a rope. Now back under center. Burleson. Give goes to Miller and Lakeshore snuffs it out. Yeah, they faked a toss right and countered back with Miller. The blocking just wasn't there, and a great defensive play by the Titans is going to bring up third and ten. So they're going from the gun. The Trips. Angling the F. Yeah, trips up at the top of the screen. Nearly catching him. Here goes back to the left side. Burleson slinging it out. And it is caught oh. by Eccles. And Eccles is in for the score. Wow. Whoa-wee. Oh, my goodness. I am in. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty darn good all the way around. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nagy on for the point after. Right. 
So 99-yard drive and a 97-yard drive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Wow. Mostly this drive through the air. Snap down, kick is up, and it is good. Well, the 99-yard was, was mainly through the air, the too. Moment. It was, was 98 through for you. the air, yeah. I set you up. <laughs> I will set you up. <laughs> All right, 5.52 to go here in the first half. Fountain blew up, 21-0. So Dechar to kick this one away for the Bulldogs following the Eccles score. 5.52 to go here in the first half. <clears throat> Dechar keeps it short, and pooch. it is hauled in by Landon Schlenk. A little pooch kick. But, yeah, every, every kickoff tonight has been short. Yeah. Nobody's trusting the speed of either team's um, kick returners. So Lakeshore's offense coming out at the 40 yard line. Motion. Bernard fakes the give, looking to pass, slings it right side, and it falls incomplete, intended for Cusacks. Double route there. Uh, tight end ran, ran a little bubble up to the right side, and the, they had a uh, split end run a uh, post play, tried to hit the tight end over there, incomplete. Second and ten. Bernard calls for it, give, and he is slung down. That was uh, Cusacks on the carry and Sylvan Owens on the tackle. Grabbed him by the jersey there and just didn't let go. He was pulling on it and then was able to get Cusacks down. Third and 13 for the Titans. Wells to the top of your screen. Bernard looking to pass, launches it. Wells hauls it in, and he'll be brought down about a yard shy of the first down. Yeah, a little post move right there. Ball on the money for Wells, and he brought it in. But they're going to bring up fourth and one. No doubt he's going for it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Samaj Witteen on the tackle. Yeah, the down box says third. Bernard under center. Calls for it. Give to Cusacks. He's Didn't short. Didn't make it. He looks short. Did not make it. And that's going to be first down for the Bulldogs wow. on the stop there. Wow. Everything at this point going Bulldogs' way here. That's a turnover on downs for the Titans. How about it? This is exactly what you want when in this heated rivalry. And you're the first year coach. And yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, with, Wait, what's funny? With, off of a team that was one and nine, you got to build that confidence. You got to find a way. And they've come in here and so far, so far have done everything that Coach Kavanaugh has asked them. And they're okay. coming off a scrimmage, doing very well in a scrimmage against Springfield and against uh, Bonneville in the Jamboree. Uh, great confidence builders in the preseason as well. 
There's another thing on Coach Cavanaugh in a second uh, after this play. Fountain Blue in the spread. And a flag is down. Is that going to be? I think somebody moved. Oh, delay a game. Maybe. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's delay because it looks yeah, like it. 25. Well, I looked over it and there was zero on the yeah. clock. Oh, yeah. Delay of game. The backs up Fountain Blue five. First and 15 now. Burleson being the field general down there, talking to the offensive line. Calls for it, looking to pass, slings it out to Miller. And Miller will gain about two uh, on the screen. Beautiful. That, that, that's a hard throw. That is a hard throw to make out there when the, the the receiver is just making a little, or the yeah, making a little curve up up the sideline, and he put that ball on the money. You're know, talking to Coach Cavanaugh before the game. He, uh, he I asked him about the rivalry, and he goes, "Yeah, I don't really, I don't care about the rivalry. I don't. We're going to go out there and we're going to execute and we're going to do our job. And hey, so far right. they're doing what Coach Cavanaugh said in pregame. Right. And we're going to have a emotion. Yeah. A false start now. Yeah. I think that was Miller. So that'll make it second and 14. Instead of second and nine, after the nice pickup. So. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Will the parents of a Hannah Irvis be, please go down toward the concession stand bathroom, please. Thank you. Burleson gets to play 4 one to go here before the half. Seven seconds before. Yeah, play clock will be winding down. Burleson's going to need to. Yeah, they're not going to get it. They're no. going to get flagged again. Or they're going to they're going to take a timeout. Yeah. Wow. All right, 4 one to go here timeout. in the first Hold half. On. Fountain blew up 21-0. Timeout on the field. All right, coming out of the timeout, second down and 14, and the give goes to Anglin. Anglin with room to run. He'll get uh, about a five-yard gain there. Brought down by Mason Prenzo. Anglin on the carry. Brought down by Mason Prenzo. Third down, go ball. So that makes it third and nine. For the Bulldogs. Calls for it. Burleson rolling to his right, slings this one out, and it's a diving catch. And it's complete. Out to uh, number three, Jacob Schleen. And that's a first down for the Bulldogs. Three fourteen to go. Everybody stop! Everybody stop! Let's go, defense! Get on, Motion from Miller, handoff straight ahead. Here's Anglin with room to run, breaking through, and he'll be brought down at the fifteen yard line. Tackle by Gavin Stein. Just a straight ahead hit um, with the, enough people spread out to the left side and motion that way. They ran away from it on pretty much a dive, and there was a seam, and Anglin was off to the races. Once again, that veteran offensive line, seniors across the board. And look, they have some size, too. They look good. Coming off the ball. Let's 
Play clock to six. Burleson calls for it, and here comes a flag. And Burleson brought down. Anglin was uh, leaning forward on that. He didn't wait for the, the call. There's a... Um, So there it is. False there start. is need uh, for something other than the system they're using with these uh, wrist wristlets that they have, because that seems to be slowing them down. Um, need to be getting that'll be in the uh, under the pencil of Coach Johnny Cavanaugh. Uh, he needs to write on a little piece of paper. What can we do to make sure that these Places they, these plays are getting in in a timely manner. We don't have to take time out. Look, we're down to seven seconds now. And quick give to Eccles and gets away from the first would-be tackler. Looking to take it to the sideline, turns it up, and he'll get back out to about the original uh, oh. line of scrimmage. Oh, my God. He was an escape artist right there. I mean, he was bottled up and dead, left for dead. But he came around the end and... Uh, got some yard, positive art yardage, but they're move. Are they moving it oh, back? They moved it back. I don't know if that's where it belongs, he's though. he's standing right there. Yeah, look what the he's official. He's got the his foot right there. Yeah, the, why is the down box is about two yards away? Uh, yeah, what's going on? All right, we're having a discussion. Oh, we have a penalty. Okay, a personal foul against. The oh, yeah, Titans. he pointed to Lakeshore. Lakeshore can ill afford to make any mistakes not, right now. Not when you're down 21 nil, or excuse me, 21 zero. Oh, it's Soccer got, it, on the oh, brain. We've changed our mind. We're going to come back. This a personal foul. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be big yardage. Wow. Okay, it's on Fountain Blue. Wow, that is huge. And that's big for Lakeshore. Yes. Yes. Well, we went from talking about how they could ill afford. Yeah. To, oh, wait. No, no, well, no. They the, did. the point went the well, other way. Yeah. Well, if you think we were confused, no. yeah, apparently the referees were confused because that's how they were pointing it. Yeah, they pointed to Lakeshore at first and then changed their mind. Thank you. So there you go. That makes it second and a mile now for uh, the Bulldogs. Just throw the ball to Miller. Get the ball to Miller. For real. Right. Yep, Burleson looking to pass. Here comes pressure. Gets away from it. Launches it, and it's complete out to Jachara. Right on the sideline. Nice throw right there. It, it, good, great escapism. Burleson pass complete to Jachara. Still third and very long. Minute 34 to go here before halftime. Titans need a stop. Looking to pass is Burleson. And he'll take off. Room to run. Oh, he's caught from behind and pulled down by 31. Brody Welch. Welch was Johnny on the spot there because it was going to be even bigger and it would have been a first down. Wow. So fourth down and... They're going to go for it. Okay. It's fourth and 14. It a lot further than I thought. And a timeout on the field. Timeout. One minute to go Hold here on. before the half. Fountain blew up 21 0. <clears throat> Coming out of the timeout, fourth down for the Bulldogs, keeping the offense out on the field. Calling forward is Burleson, rolling to his right with pressure bearing down. Slings it out, and it is intercepted. Going back the other way is Ridgely, and he'll be tackled down at about the uh, six, about the six yard line. He was happy he came up with that. He jumped up and ran off. He was happy, good pick, but that was a basically a throw. He threw it up in the end zone, hoping that one of his receivers would go to it. 
I've been looking shorter, and let's see if they can, you know, run it in. Ball will be spotted at the nine yard line for the Titans offense. They have 45 seconds to work with here before the half. <coughs> spread it out and run the ball. See if they think they're gonna throw the ball, but run it and see if you can pop one for a long, a long one. Well, I will say this, um, the Bulldogs in the first half took advantage of every one of their situations except that one right there. For sure. They, they penal, penalized themselves out of that. Look, that happens week one. They've got to be, uh, while you look to improve on that one, they have to be very satisfied with the previous three. Well, so far, so good. So here's Bernard under center, calling for it. Give goes to Cusacks and carrying a defender. He will be very close to a first down. Is it? A, it'll be a second and one on the Cusacks after the Cusacks carry. 27 seconds on the clock now. Same play. Bernard Give goes to Cusacks. And he is brought down by Gagnon Owen Silvis. But that's a first down for the Titans. 15 seconds to go here before the half. Just enough time for one more play. Oh, and they're going to let the clock run out to go to half. So at the half, Fountain Blue leads 
So coming out of the half, Chara kicks this one away. Cusacks picks it up to return, and he is brought down at the 17-yard line. The so, so they Tiger. kicked it deep. They kicked it deep that time, yeah. yeah. The first deep kick of the, of the game. Uh, Fountain blew up 21-0. Really only one kind of wasted drive. The rest of the time they were efficient. Uh, Lakeshore looking to put it all together here in the uh, – Second half, they had moments where they got down to the goal line and uh, just squ squandered opportunities with mistakes. Mistakes, mistakes. Don't make mistakes. You don't get beat. That's that old Bayou coach theory. But um, they just haven't been able to – they've had great field position, um, but they haven't been able to push it across at the end. Yeah, only 93 yards on the game, total wow. offense. Wow. And uh, Fountain Blue had that on one play. More than that. More than that. One. Yeah. Bernard with the toss and room to run. Let's see. Sylvan Owens will sling him down on the carry was uh, Cato Pichon. Pichon on the carry. So they, they have had a success getting the ball outside. In fact, they got down there in the red zone before they fumbled it off of a, off of a quick pitch uh, play or toss play. So that'll make it second and four for the Titans. Running up the middle's been tough at times. Bernard give. First defender spins away Cusacks, and he's still going. Strong running from Cusacks gets the Titans the first down. A lot of um, getting more game. yak yards Cusacks after the, the – no, not the yak. <laughs> well, you can say yards after contact. After contact. That's yeah. what I meant. Yep. Said. Yep. Or didn't. <laughs> yak. Um, yeah. Yakety yak. But uh, once again, that's where that strength and conditioning in the summer, that hard work that you put in comes in handy. Absolutely. Bernard takes the snap. Oh, runs into the fullback, and he's able to flip over the line for a modest gain. That was a Cusack. That and here comes a very late flag. Ooh, late, late, late. Throw on the carry, short game. Flag on the play. It's going to go against Fountain Blue, apparently. Personal foul wow. against the Bulldogs, so the extra yardage for the Titans looking to make the most of this drive. One of the, one, one of the worst things you want to do coming out of the half is make, uh, after a couple of stops, make a big penalty and give the, give the other team the ball at the 50-yard line, especially when you're up 21-0. You don't want to make it easier for them. Bernard calls for it. Give goes 
and he'll be gang tackled down after a gain of three. That was a uh, grow Throw on the on carry. Three. Watch out by Gagnon, short gain on the play. Second down, Titans. Yeah, so that makes it second and seven for the Titans. Bernard, toss Ball. out, and room to run for Gro. Still on his feet, oh. he loses his footing as he crosses the 30-yard line. That's that same play again, that toss. They got her out around, he cut it up, and uh, was making a move, but had lost his footing. The old turf monster. The turf monster got him. First down at the 29-yard line. Bernard straight ahead, give to, let's see, Grow. Tackled by Ian Garber. So that makes it second and nine for the Titans. So, see Indes talking it over with his quarterback. Yep. This is what I want. Go back there and call it. Let's run this ball. Let's get some yardage. 13 on the play clock. Not in a rush. Take your time. Execute. Bernard calls for it. It's a there toss. That toss out again. to Grow, and Grow is slung down once again by Garber. Still, um, Fountain Blue having a problem with that. With that toss play right there, they got him outnumbered over there, and no one seemed to be able to come up with the play. Third down and four. Garber for tackling, the tack, tackling him from behind is not helping because he's up the field three, 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 four yards, three or four yards. So it's what you want the TFL. Right, tackle for loss. Third down. Oh, Bernard, Ooh. does he catch? He caught him. Yeah. Wow. They're going to get a free first down. Wow, 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 wow. Five down. Great call right there to, to catch him off guard. And uh, goes back to what I said. Just a few, uh, barely two minutes ago, you can't make these kinds of mistakes with a lead to start the second half. You have yep. to keep the momentum on your side. Instead, you're giving it right back yeah. to, to Lakeshore exactly. to give them new life. Fresh set of downs here for the Titans. 7.52 on the clock. Out to Wells. And he'll be brought down after a four-yard gain. Nice little quick pass out there. The wing back goes out to try to block as uh, Wells came on a little uh, uh, wide receiver screen or split end screen and uh, gets four yards. It works. Second down, six. Don't have to throw it long to, to, to get yardage. Keep the drive alive. Bernard calls for it, and going up, he'll be brought down at the 10-yard line. That's a fresh set of downs. Or is it going to be? No, it's going to be short. It'll be third, third and about one. So uh, that was Cato Pichon. A short one. Again, they got the advantage on the edge, handing the ball off on the. The jet sweep and getting out around the edge, which uh, is starting to show um, a way. And, oh, some bubbles. Oh, that's, at least in the air by the student section. That's not and snow. And, no, <laughs> not snow. In fact, we're about to have a heat and humidity break. We're so far from snow. Um, but yeah, I think it was a false start there. 
yeah, the officials talking over there was. It's coming back. We have 6.23 on the clock, so we are getting pretty close to that heat and humidity break. Titans penalized five yards. But here it is. Uh, eight, it feels like 89. You're right. I don't know. You might be okay. So play coming in from the sideline. Also in comes uh, Spencer Rogers, the tight end. They're going right. Bernard oh, keeping oh. it himself, coming near side. Oh, that might be a, a horse collar. Well, maybe no. he just got jersey. Just jersey. I thought for sure they were going right. It, uh, 99 had gone in there and was on the right-hand side, and I thought they were going to try to power it right behind him. We're going to step away for the heat and humidity break. 5.42 to go here in the third. Fountain blew up, 21-0. All right, coming out of the heat and humidity break, it is fourth down. Bernard looking to pass, and it got hit, and that falls incomplete. So that's a turnover on downs. Once again, another drive for the Titans that doesn't end in points. Well, I'll say this, the um, – as bad of mistakes as the Bulldog defense made penalty-wise, they righted the ship right there when they needed to. Confirmed up. We're going to step away for an injury timeout. That was pretty unsportsmanlike. Yeah, unsportsmanlike conduct. Only fountain blue. So in the, uh, in the injury timeout, the injured player got up and – they gave him a bottle of water, and he started trying to rile up the crowd on the field and got hit with an unsportsmanlike conduct uh, not, as he was uh, uh, yeah, slinging I'm, water in the air. I'm not, yeah, I'm not real sure about that. It wasn't like he was turned to the other team doing that. He was riling up his own fans. And, and his fans were cheering. Yeah, they loved it. They were and, cheering. and they were glad to see one of their best players getting yeah. up from an injury. Right. Uh, I don't know sometimes. So Fountain Blue with the ball. Snap is back. Give goes to Eccles. He's met but breaks contact, and it takes the third man to bring him down, and that third man is Roberson. That seems to be the his M.O. right there. The first guy is not going to get him, although he's limping a little bit. Eccles oh, that's is going to have to go to the sideline. And we're going to step away for an injury timeout. Slung out by Burleson, hauled in, and we have a flag down. And that thing kind of skittered across the field, that flag, which it's, um, I think we said in pregame or when we first got up here that um, there's going to be a lot of flags. And, for, and it's, look, it's week guess one. Guess what? Guess what? The, rest of, uh, the referees are not disappointed. No. We, we got exactly what we thought would happen. Week one, you, you know, you need to clean that up if you want to make any sort of run. But week one, it's every year, every year. Five oh six to go here in the third. The penalty was for holding on the screen out to Schleem. It's second and 19 for the Bulldogs. Snap. Burleson. And, oh, he sacked. It seemed like he wasn't it, expecting it. Yeah, it seemed like it was a busted, a, a busted play from the beginning. Nobody else was really moving, and Burleson was just looking downfield. On the sack there was uh, Brody Welsh. And, and a 
rusher came right through there. The rusher came through there, put the pressure on him. He had to scramble by that time. Excuse me, that was a Prinzo. So it is third and 22. And there's five seconds to go in this play clock. They're better gonna have to oh, use they're a gonna timeout. have to use a timeout. Or, or where's got the penalty? All right, there's the flag. So that's gonna put them to the two and a half yard line. Make it third and 24 and a half. Welcome to week one problem. Yeah. What's not a problem for the Bulldogs though? is well this doesn't look great in the moment they are still up 21 0. looking to pass is burleson launches it incomplete intended for miller miller ran a quick post then he was up the field and then it came back on when uh, burleson had to scramble so it, it looked like the offense uh, took the, the Bulldog offense took over the for the Bulldog defense making mistakes. And I'm pretty and sure the Coach Kavanaugh is not really happy right now. Absolutely not. And Coach Indes has to be happy with some of the uh, adjustments that they made. Yeah. Uh, but now Fountain Blue. Backed been, up. Uh, kind of mistake plagued here um, is punting from their own end zone. Crazy things can happen. Snap is back. Dechara. Oh, wait, we have whistles. Is that going to be another delay of game? Yep. Oh, my goodness. This is a major, major m mistake here. Major. No flag. He just needed to uh, reset the play clock. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? So, Tachara okay. punting from the back of the end zone. Like I said, crazy things can happen oh, here. snap. He fields it cleanly and gets the punt away. Fair catch called. And uh, Cusacks hauls it in. And Look at Lake this Shore great, amazing great, field position. great field position. They'll start from the 32-yard uh, line. Yeah, all it takes right now is for Lakeshore to punch this in here and that momentum that Fountain Blue had going into the half is going to be kind of pushed off to the side. Let's see what Coach Indest has planned here. Jet sweep, toss, toss, jet sweep, something like that. Get them outside. They have, they've had a lot of success outside and try and clean up those mistakes. Bernard calls for it, looking to pass, slings it out, and it is, what are they gonna call? Fountain Blue thinks they intercepted it. Lakeshore saying it was down. Looks excited. Wow, they're an interception. Wow. For the Bulldogs. Wow. Home team does not agree. Samaj Wittheim with the interception. That's one that we're going to have to go look at. Uh, we won't have the later. benefit. We don't have yeah. the benefit of uh, instant replay. replay. So, wow. But, wow. Fountain Blue. 
be another Mountain offense back out now. Another reason why you tuck that ball away. You make no doubt. Burleson calls for it. Give. And he's wrapped up. Gang tackled down. Led there by uh, Ivan Sidikovic. Eccles on the carry. Table for no gain by Ivan Sidikovic. Sidikovic has played a really good job, uh, game. He was the one that pressured Burleson earlier, and Burleson was barely able to get back to the uh, two yard line um, and pinned the Bulldogs down. Um, still too much confusion, I think, in this offensive. Yeah, you're down to 10 seconds on the play clock. Right, and then he's going to look. Oh, no, they're not. Burleson calls for it. Give goes to Eccles, and he is brought down hard. He just ran that play, and he ran it again. You got nothing. I'd be – I got to think of something else. Eccles. It was Prinzo. It might, the time. It might look Prinzo. like it's open, but that hasn't been open. The third and ten for Fountain Blue. Waiting to get the call. Yeah. They're talking about it. Taking too long, if you ask me. Yeah, play clock we're is at, 16. We're at 15, and we're going to huddle up and call the play. Now we're at 10. There's, there's got to be a better way to do this. Now we're at 7, and he's got to come up. And three, two, Burleson gets barely. And he's looking to pass. Slings it out, incomplete. Intended out there for uh, Jacob Schleem. The timing, the timing that you want to have offensively is totally thrown off. If you've got to run up, rush up to the, th and then that's not part of your plan. Right? Right. There's, there's some work to be done over there. What do you do there? You implement signals that everybody understands so you can get to the line? Exactly. Or you, you, you could huddle up, signal in the play, and get to the line and run the play. Snap is back. Dechara punts it away. This one looks pretty good. A bounce backwards. Good that, stop yeah, there. Good job getting in front of it. Yep. That's uh, 91. Ian Garber. Garver with a good hustle down there. So Lakeshore will get the ball at the 42-yard line. A uh, minute 43 to go here in the third. It, I, this is pretty imperative that they make something happen here because they're not they're not a big passing team, so they're not going to boom, boom, boom down the field. They need to take the, – there's, there's still plenty of time to to get back, Let's to get back and get even and get a chance to go ahead. Uh but you got to be successful here. Motion, play Fakes action. Takes the pass. give, looking to pass as Bernard slings it down, looking for Wells. Tipped oh. up, and Wells can't come down with it. It falls incomplete. Of course, he didn't listen to me right there. They went up top right away. Um, for double coverage there. That ball was thrown in, in there. It's tough. Uh, incomplete. So second and ten for the Titans. I mean, you're in good field position and you've run the ball at times very good, at times not, but you need to you need to get something going here. Motion, oh, that, that, was, that might was, be a false start. Yep, there it is. There it is, yeah. The right side of the line. Okay. That'll back up the Titans. Okay, they made a mistake last time. Let's us make a mistake this time. You know? Week one. Week one. Welcome to week one. Week, week one problems. Not third world, not first world. Week one problems here at Lakeshore High School. Both sides having those, those problems. Titans penalized. Oh, Lakeshore at the 37. Calls for it. Bernard rolling, slings it out, looking for Wells, and it's hauled in for a first down. They call it a catch. 
Nice pitch and catch right there. Wells with a diving catch. That was huge. They've been trying to get it to him. That was huge right there. Now, what can they do? How can they capitalize on that? Let's run the let's run that toss now. John Michael Pappas checks in on the offensive line for Lakeshore. Bernard under center calls for it, looking to pass again. Slings it out here, and it is incomplete. Uh, Wittine on the coverage. Yep. Bernard's pass intended for Wells. Coach Indest has um, decided to air it out here in this series. Under a minute to play here in the third. That'd be here's Wells at the bottom of your screen. Right. Calls for it. Oh, ball's on the ground. And Fountain Blue signaling that they have it. And, and they, they do. do. Another Missed turnover. It. That was a double handoff. Handoff to the fullback. He's going to the right trying to hand it off to the wing back coming around. It did not happen. And boom, mistake. So ball right at the 50-yard line. Hearing here in the press box in the uh, Jamboree, they ran that same play and fumbled on it against Slidell. I would say that needs a little work still. What do you do as a coach uh, while we have time here uh, to clean up the penalties? Oh, you just basically you got to go over it and over it and over it and over it. He, that, that is a practice thing. You... You know, I'll tell you a story in a minute. Burleson on first down, calls for it. It's a screen out to Miller, and Miller has room in front of him and breaks free of a tackle and will go out of bounds. That's a first down for the Bulldogs. A little, little bubble screen there. I got to, um, I got to uh, Salmon High School and was coaching the offensive line as, as well as being the coordinator. And I said, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to go on down, we're going to go on set, we're going to go on one, two, three, and everybody, everybody's going, no, no, they're, they're going to they're gonna jump offside. They're going to go, no, no, you do it every day. You, it becomes ingrained, and this is what you're going to do. And you won't believe how many times we got the other, time, other side to jump off jump offside just because we were disciplined enough. Burleson calls for it. Give goes straight ahead to uh, Mull. He's brought down by Prinzo. Mull on the carry. by Prinzo. And Nebaker. Prinzo and Nebaker on the tackle. And we have, I think, okay, they're gonna let the clock wind down. They're gonna go talk it over with Coach Kavanaugh. So we're under 10 seconds here in the third quarter. And we will head to the final stanza with Fountain Blue leading 21-0. Fourth quarter. Top of the fourth, second down here for the Bulldogs. Handoff goes and a gain of about two on the carry from Jack Anglin. Going to bring up third and seven. Little uh, counter play right there. And Anglin is yeah, We're going to step injured. away for an injury timeout. All right, third down coming out of the injury timeout. Spread uh, formation for Fountain Blue. Here's Burleson rolling to his right. And yeah, there goes a flag uh, for the hold. It was a complete pass out to Schleem, but it's coming back uh, for the hold on the right side of the line. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We were talking about, you know, cleaning up penalties, fixing penalties. Uh, when I played offensive line at Mandeville, we had Coach Hull was our coach. He's now at uh, UL Monroe. But he, uh, 
would keep tabs on all the penalties, all the mistakes that we made. And for every penalty and every blown assignment that we had, it was uh, 30 seconds of up downs. Woo. We, we had one Monday. time. Monday, I bet you hated Monday. Oh, it was the worst. We got we got some breaks, but at one, one time I think we had nine minutes worth of up downs. <laughs> Only the strong will survive in that case. <laughs> So third and 17 for Fountain Blue. Oh, it's a shovel pass up to uh, Mull, and it's stuffed out after a modest gain. So it'll be fourth down for the Bulldogs. Uh, be punting here. And yet this is, all right, come on, we punting? You better be putting some people out there. They're all going to the sideline. This is, uh, are we having a stoppage in play? Cause it's now at 18. So they're going to take a five yard penalty. Yeah, they're just, they're on the sideline. They're not coming off. It looks to be off the sideline. They're taking a five yard penalty. Give the punter a little more room to work with. He's going to say it. Can he kick it that far? I don't know. Yeah, so there's the delay of game. And another penalty. At least that one was intentional. Right. Um, I guess the thought here is what? You need to help me out. Um, just run 40 seconds off the clock, I guess. That and potentially give him more room to avoid him booting it down there and getting a touchback. Okay. Let's see if he can do that. Dechara sends it. And then he's going to kick it. And it goes it. out of bounds. And he's kicking it out of bounds anyway. At the 20-yard uh, line about. Yeah. So basically just, just wanted to run time off the clock. Yeah. 10.29 to go here in the fourth. Fountain blew up 21-0. Lakeshore still looking to put it all together to complete a drive. They've had opportunities. They've had opportunities. They've been down to the goal line. Just couldn't punch it in. Credit the uh, Fountain Blue defense with doing a good job. There's Bernard the with the toss out to Gro. Gro going toward the sideline, and he'll be pushed out of bounds by uh, Wittine and uh, Wilson. So they've had some success outside. They start this one. I was almost begging them to do that on that last series, right? They started off. That's uh, four, three, four, three to four yards. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> It'll be second and six. Cody Verrett checks in as uh, Wilson looked a little shaken up on the previous play. Second down now. Bernard calls for it. It's a pass. Slings it out. And it is oh, oh. in and out of the hands of Wells. I would say that was probably about four inches too long off of his fingertips. So third, third down. down for the Titans. One thing about it, Coach Indest is not scared to try to throw the ball there to Mr. Eleven. No, they've been... Uh, Looking to get it out to him oh, for yeah. a good portion of the game. Fakes the give. Bernard rolling. Slings it out, and it's uh, incomplete. Once again, intended for Wells. But well, Wells, double coverage. Going to bring up fourth down. Well, they're basically running three players in the route. The number one 
uh, receiver is the split end who's Wells, right? They're dragging the tight end and then running them back into the flat towards that play. And um, if Wells is not open, he's ended up getting double covered. It's pretty tough. It's not a wide open. It's not two receivers one side, two another. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, it's Wells, once again, at the top of your screen. And fourth down, they're going for it. Bernard looking to pass. Oh, and he's hit as he throws, and it falls incomplete. And that is a turnover on downs. A delay uh, blitz right there out of Fountain Blue. And the play comes incomplete. Um, obviously, Coach Indes thought that his chances of uh, – Getting three scores were few and far between and wanted to take a shot at that fourth down. For sure. It's just bad field position. Yeah, now Fountain Blue gets the ball at the 24-yard line to start this drive. The Lakeshore's 24-yard line. Burleson, give goes Full to Anglin, England. straight up the middle. And Bounces. he'll gain about seven on the carry. He got stopped running up into his own man and then just flittered out to the right a little bit and got some more yards. That hard work, hard running. Oh, yeah. Extra effort goes a long way. Second down. And when you're up 21 nothing, how much time's left? 9.36. 9.36. The other team has just tried a fourth down. You've stopped. It's pretty much straight ahead football here. Don't have to be fancy, just make them stop you. Give once again to Anglin, straight ahead, and that will be a first down for the Bulldogs. Uh, Nebaker on the tackle along with uh, Mason Prinzo. Yeah, and look, the clock is your friend when you're Fountain Blue. They're going to wait for that uh, play clock to go all the way down. Oh, yeah. Well, they've been well, doing they've been, that. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> they've been doing that anyway. <laughs> but now, you meant intentionally. Intentionally. Intentionally this time, yes. Yeah, no hurry here. Clock down to 847. Uh-oh, uh-oh, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Do they need it? How can he? Oh, oh, are they trying to catch him off guard? No. No. What was going on there? Total confusion. So Fountain Blue takes a timeout. That was um, miscommunication again. That will be under, you know, how much of that is the players and how much is that from the coaches and their communication patterns? You follow what I'm saying? I mean, is ultimately, it, the coaches have to own it. Some of it, yes. Some of it are on. Some of it's on the players. But uh, that will be, I would say, number one on the list. And Coach Cavanaugh's uh, when he gets back to the field house at Fountain Blue on the whiteboard, he's going to put uh, 40 seconds to get the playoff. So back out of the timeout. I'll just let you know, in prior years, I've heard similar things said to me about how, how fast we need to get the play in, right? And, and I'm sure the following Monday you made that up. Uh, uh, you made that change. The changes, changes are coming. Signals came. Marlison calls for it, looking to pass. No, oh, he's hit as he throws. Ball's up in the air. Oh, oh. Miller trying to readjust the haul oh, it in. Got a and here's a flag. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wow. Burleson trying to shake it off. He got hit. He got tattooed pretty good. It was a the in I think I, 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 and I'm gonna say this. He was probably told to throw the ball out there. Um in, in the uh, in the end zone, 
you know. Um, just and lo loft it up to Miller. Yeah, just loft it up to Miller. When the inside receiver had gone like through the through the middle, wide open. So we got a timeout. And an injury timeout. We're gonna step away. Back from the injury timeout. Burleson calling for it. Give goes to Eccles, and he swarmed. Brought and down. His helmet's knocked off. Prinzo and Broussard bring him down. He will. Will he have to go out? Uh, yeah, uh, Eccles is going to have to go out yeah. for a play. Yeah. All right. So Fountain Blue huddling up. Jesse Mull, the running back. Burleson rolling right, slings it out to the end zone, and here comes a flag. That was intended for Schleem. Yeah, um, Gegenheimer on the coverage. I think he had his hand on the back of his, on the, on the uh, receiver's back, reaching over, incomplete. So that yeah. it's going to be a penalty. They go to the three, three yard, yard line. line. Yeah. And uh, Eccles is back in. Burleson calls for it. Give goes to Mull and Broussard. Drives him back. Good stop there. Definitely selling out to try to get in there and make a tackle. had to run over and communicate the play to Eccles. Motion from Miller. Snap is back. Burleson on the run, slings it to the end zone. And I did the snap looked off target. I know. It, the whole thing kind of felt uh, fell apart right there. And kind of indicative of the second half offensively for, for Fountain Blue. Then just, it's almost like, hey, let's play real good in the first half. and. Oh, we're up. We're okay. We'll just take it easy. And, and uh, they're not finishing plays. You can't get complacent when you're up. Correct. So third down from the three-yard line for the Bulldogs. I'm saying you see these guys looking at those. Look, he's looking at the linemen's looking at those. I'm saying do away with that. Come up with some system, some other system. And a timeout called on the field. 6.52 to go here in the game. Fountain blew up, 21-0. Burleson to the end zone, and he overthrows his man. Oh, Miller was open. And, and they've run out of downs. Or is that? Or does Okay. okay, so okay, that, that brings up third. fourth down. Oh. Is this going to be the field goal unit? Yes, indeed. Huh? Come on. Yeah, Nagy is on. Nagy on to attempt the field goal. It'll be a 20-yarder. 20 20 All right, let's see. The old field goal kicker gets a chance. Kick is up, and it is... Good. Good. Right. 6.43 to go here in the fourth. And uh, Nor Fountain Blue is up 24 to zero. DeChar to kick it off for the Bulldogs. And 
Cusacks will return it. And he'll be brought down just past the 30 yard line. Fans in the Lakeshore stands want a face mask, but no call. I guess we're going to see more passing. To looking for uh, looking for Wells, as we've seen on uh, wherever he uh, is, get it to 100 percent of passes. Is that right? What's that? A hundred percent of passes have oh, targeted oh, yeah. Jaden Wells. Uh, yeah, almost. That's right, the double pass. Thank you. Uh, went to Tyson Wall. Thank you, Feynman Roberts. All right. Glad we cleared that there you up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> this went to Wells, and he's hit immediately for a loss of a yard. So it'll be a second and 11. And a heat and humidity break. Fountain blew up 24-0 here in the fourth. Six minutes to go here in the fourth. Second down. Second down for the Lakeshore offense. And Bernard keeps it himself. He'll be swarmed and driven back uh, by Silvis Owens and Boata. Tackle by Brent Boata. Also on the play. So third and 14 for the Titans. Bernard calls for it. Give goes to Cusacks. He'll be wrapped up and dropped. Little Gain of four. A little counter action right there on that play. Going to bring up fourth down. Uh, pretty good effort here tonight by the Fountain Blue Bulldog defense. They got a tip of the cap to the defensive coordinator. Yeah, Chase Hammett, a uh, standout linebacker at Mandeville High School back in the day. He, uh, he's, he's brought what he's learned out here and taught these uh, Bulldogs how to, how to play defense tonight. you can be sure that this game will be mentioned at Fountain Blue High School's graduation. That one, punt goes out of bounds. It seems whoever wins mentions the win over the other school in the uh, graduation speech. Which so far up until this concludes has been five times to five times. Yeah, so Fountain Blue is going to take the lead here in the 11th matchup. 6-5. Next week, Tiger, we're going to your old stomping grounds. Oh, we're going to Slidell, Louisiana. Yep, Salmon High School. Uh, they're taking on North Shore, which is also kind of as heated as this rivalry is on this side of the parish. That mm. North Shore Salmon rivalry has really uh, gotten heated. Yeah, well, um, Salmon dominated for years, but North Shore, as of late, has dominated. So um, I'm sure it'll be one of those times where the Spartans at, as a, at a home game and, and what looks like, from what we can determine, a pretty decent team will be out for big time re revenge. Absolutely. Also interested to see they have that new uh, beautiful turf field out at Salmon and the uh, new, new press, press box, box, which I'm, I'm excited to see. We'll get to call the game from that next week. Wow. Wow, I never thought it. Thought I'd ever see that. Awesome. Awesome work by our school board office, you know, to get 
get things going down there. Second down here for the Bulldogs. Give goes to Mull once again. And uh, that is going to be a first down for the Bulldogs. Mull up the middle. Run good for a first down. Tackle by Brody Welsh. Clock still running down to 327. It's five. Everything in their four. It has to call. Just um, all we got to do is. Let's see how wet long he waits to get up there. Got plenty of time. Yeah, play clock to 13. <clears throat> Burleson calls for it. Give goes to Mull, and right there is uh, Senekevich. Senekevich has played a heck of a game tonight. He's made a lot of stops. Um, he's been very bothersome for the Fountain Blue Bulldog offense. You weren't expecting that one, were you? Word of the day. Stay with me to the end. Stay with me to the end. Second and 10 here for the Bulldogs. This will get us uh, to two. I heard that down there. They're breaking the huddle way too soon. That's <laughs> true. And they're up at the line. And you're going to let it go. Well, now they've got to kind of settle in. And uh, okay, Burleson calling for it, rolling to the right. He'll keep it himself. Ooh, good block out there. And he'll and he slide down, down after about a six-yard gain. Oh, check that. He uh, slid they, earlier, so that'll be about a uh, four-yard gain. So they seem to be able to run the play when they're – trying to slow the clock down intentionally versus have to hurry it up. They just need to stay in the huddle to about 15 seconds, walk out there and get down. But what they're going to do is they're, don't get down, don't get in the stance yet, just stand there, just stand there. Now we can ease in and then hold it for a few seconds. Give goes to Eccles, and he is driven back. That'll bring up fourth down for Fountain Blue. Tackle made by uh, Koontz. So fourth down for the Bulldogs, and uh, play clock starts, so there'll be about a, you know, 14 seconds. So Fountain Blue taking their time. Now run this one all the way down. And they're going to run a play. Play clock to five. Burleson with the toss to Eccles, and he swarmed and dropped, and that is a turnover on downs. Koontz on the stop. And so it'll be Lakeshore ball with 10 seconds on the clock here in the game. Fountain Blue faithful fired up on the other side of the field. They know they're about to get out of here with a W. And... All right, so here comes the Lakeshore offense. Well, the coach Johnny Kavanaugh era has started off in with a, a W with a big W here against their arch rivals. And so kneel down, and that will do it. Fountain Blue victorious.
winning 24 to zero. Let's send our thank yous to those who helped bring you this game. Starting with our superintendent, Mr. Frank Jabia, director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, cameraman, editor, coordinator of Channel 13, Dave the Rave Williams, color analyst, Coach Tiger Edwards. From Lakeshore High School, where the where the Fountain Blue Bulldogs defeat the Lakeshore Titans 24-0. My name is Grant Yenny. Good night.